hello youtubers today I'm going to show you how to make an XY plot in graphpad prism first of all um, one of the reasons why you want to make an XY plot is when you want to compare the relationship between two variables so in that case you would plot the dependence variable on the y-axis and then the independent variable on the x-axis so to demonstrate that um, first of all um, I would like to use the sample data already available in graphpad prism so to do that just make sure you select uh, what kind of sample data you want in this section and so I select this and uh, hit create uh, so grappa prism gives me um, sample data to use so now um, if you take a look at this sample data um, on the x-axis we have time in minutes and a set of two sets of y-axis values now another thing you should notice that um, these y-axis values are in triplicates so for every time input of time in minutes you have three corresponding y values in this group a column and it's similar case for this group b column so um, what this actually means is that on your graph you would have two different um, curves showing up one for each data set so if you take a look um, the data set in column A is titled control and the data set in group B okay, is titled treated so on your graph they are labeled accordingly so your circles are control and your squares are treated so that's what you do when you want to plot more than one XY graph as an XY line on the same graph so in this case since we have two data sets we have two different XY graphs okay so now I want us to take a look at um, how we can make some changes okay kind of adjust this graph modify this graph to suit our own preferences now as I mentioned earlier the data points are in triplicates so each single point here represents an average of the three and um, for some of these points or for most of them you can see these bars okay and graph in graphite prism you can actually modify what these bars and these points actually represent so to do that if we go up here so in this dialog box we can make changes so if you take a look at this drop down by default the the points represent the mean and the bars represents the error now we can change this to mean only which means um, only the av the mean of the of the points will be plotted without the bars um, you can also choose to set it as geometric mean geometric mean with error median only median and error but um, I want to try mean with error 
Now on the minute arrow, you have different options for the bars. Um, you can set it as standard deviation, standard error of the mean, 95% confidence interval, or the range. Okay, so I want to select the standard error of the mean. Okay, now you can also do some additional changes as in um, if you want to put lines connect the points with the lines you could choose this option now you also have other options that you can explore but I'm not going to go too much into that in this tutorial so I want us to probably stick to this option here okay so you can click OK you can also change the access titles by for instance uh, click the title and name it whatever you wish yeah I just want to name it response just for demonstration let's go cool. you can also change the X axis title if you so wish but for now I want to maintain it another thing we can do is make changes to the color of the data points since we have two different data sets um, we might want to differentiate them make them look different apart from just having different shapes circle and square we might want to uh, differentiate them by color okay so to do that could go up here and select this option for this format graph symbols bars arrow bars etc just click over here you can select which data set to make changes to so now we have the control data set selected um, you can change, you can switch to treated and back. So first of all, let's work with the control. This is where you change the color. So let's say, for instance, uh, I want to go with green. You can push this aside and click apply to see what effect gives us okay so we have everything in green here I can change the color for just the arrow bars as well and probably maybe if I want to keep the arrow bars black I could do that and apply. so my arrow bars will be black with the lines and the points being um, green I could even change the color of the lines alone that's black hit apply and as you can see now only the data points remain green now we can also do some changes for the other data sets for the treated so we switch to the other data sets by clicking this arrow this way and like we can go choose a different color, let's say dark blue. Yes. And we can also choose to play around with other stuff. So ideally this is based on your choice and your own preference and what you want to do when you're done with this just click OK now another modification you can do is on the scale of the axis okay for instance if I want to cut off 
this portion of the axis okay just so to make my graph spread out I could go to this um, select format axis okay. now um, what I want to change is uh, the x-axis and make sure you uncheck this that box okay yes. now if I want to set the maximum value of the x-axis to say 12 you just change from 15 to 12 and click apply and as you can see okay you can choose to do the same for the left y axis and let's say we want to set the maximum to 220 like so so we hit apply and the same thing okay. okay so now our graph is spreading out real nicely okay so if we are done when we are done with that we can um, click ok again we can also change the overall appearance of the graph if you are not okay with this default appearance uh, you can do that with this option up here okay so you click down and come down and choose um, more color schemes okay so this is the default color scheme but with this arrow by the side you can click to toggle through different color schemes okay. Okay. so y this is a uh, totally black and white but you can try out different color schemes so go through pick what you prefer so you can even go use this drop down and pick what you want okay but I think I still prefer this this looks very cool so I click OK this is all for today's tutorial in my next tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to do statistical analysis surrounding XY graph.